All right, y'all. Um, free agency kind of roundup, kind of uh, recap, more or less. As of right now, I wouldn't say big news, but good news. Uh, Gerald McCoy. One of them. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get my camera together. I may just hold it because I lost my uh, my piece. I may just hold it keep thinking about it. You know, when you, when you can't really do what you want to do because you keep thinking about something. Gerald McCoy, um, really good signing. Um, really, really good signing because you've now lost half your team or depth and, and you know, for, 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 for as long as I've wanted Jason, I mean, well, I've definitely wanted Jason Witten gone. Um, I think he's been a stopgap for this team. I'm not I love what Jason Wooden has done for this team, what he's made his organization, but it's time to go. And so he's in Oakland. Malik Collins is now going to be in Oakland. And then Jeff Heath is in Oakland. So those are three pieces that you lose. But you now couple that, um, you now counter that more or less with signing a, a, a savvy vet in Gerald McCoy. Now, I wanted him two years ago. Didn't happen. He goes to Carolina. Plays decently. Um, his numbers were good last year. I think five sacks, six sacks or something like that for interior linemen. If you go watch the Green Bay game, it was very disruptive. So he still has some juice left. And kind of like with Robert Quinn, if put in the right system, used the right way like he was this year, used as a pitch hitter, um, Robert Quinn was, you see he was able to, to make himself some money and um, sign with the Bears. So let's kind of make sense of all of this. So you lose Jeff Heath, who was a starter on defense, but also was a core special teamer. He's now in Oakland. But now your safety depth, depth is kind of in question. Well, it now makes a lot of sense to now attack that position in the draft. Dallas can no longer run from it. What are you going to do at one tech? You need a plugger now. Um, we don't there, there's no more the this the 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 mindset of Rob Marinelli's mindset get up the field get up the field now maybe Dallas looks to in the draft the rest of this free agency period looking for a guy that can eat up two blocks that can give these defenders a two-way go that can give these linebackers more space to kind of maneuver is that the plan this will be a heavy defensive draft Make no mistake about it. I could see us going tight end, but tight end and receiver will probably be the only two positions that you attack in the draft offensively. Other than that, you are the just pick, take your pick. Corner, I can draft a corner. DN, I can draft a DN. D line, I can draft a D lineman. Um, but it has to make sense. For the best value, what's going to be there when we're picking at 17, it's going to be safety. You lose Heath, um, so you need it. You need it. You need to pair somebody back there with with X Woods, and, and your back end now looks a little more savvy. The wild card in this whole thing, Cowboys fans, is Randy Gregory. Um, I've been hearing a lot of noise that he will be back, but now at what level? If he returns to the level that he was at when he left, you're in great shape because he was playing really good ball. Um, you just don't know because you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. So we'll have to wait and see on that. But I do like the Gerald McCoy signing. Uh, hey, free agency. You lost Malik Collins. I thought he would be coming back. You didn't. He didn't. You you lost some pieces. So is a guy like a Snacks Harrison in play? I think so. For my money, he is. Um, you know, he can come in and two gap and do some things. Um, and, and we'll see how Mike Tom Zula now, who's over our D-line, how he wants to run things. But we'll see um, how this is going to play out. But anyway, Cowboys fans, this is Foots here. Just kind of giving you guys an update on my thoughts. I do like the Gerald McCoy signing. It's a sneaky good signing. Um, but, you know, those losses, you know, losing a Byron Jones, now Malik Collins, you've lost some pieces. So you're going to have to make it up in production Somehow, some way, can the Cowboys do it? Um, that's yet to be seen.
Hey, you guys, make sure you're being safe out here. Um, I'm about to clock in to work, but we're on a hazardous schedule, so there's only like two people at work. I'm not touching anybody, um, but I'm also not living in fear. Make sure y'all don't live in fear or because eventually this too shall pass and, you know, go outside, get fresh air. It, it, it is what it is, guys. I mean, uh, be safe, be smart. But once we get more information on this virus, on this COVID-19, um, I'm, I'm praying that things kind of can go back to normal. And, um, you know, just kind of get more of a flow. All right. It's your boy Foots here. As I get information, um, I'll let you guys know. Good morning. Good morning. Have a great day. Win your day, y'all. Win the day. Peace.